Good morning, everyone. It is May the 31st, 2016, the end of the month, and this usually brings a uh, bias or dynamic that favors st the stock market. Last month, uh, the market uh, closed in the uh, 2073 area, give or take. I don't have the exact number. Uh, right now, we could close above 2100. Uh, securing another month's worth of pay and bonuses for your institutional money managers uh, because of compensation and it is tied to performance um, the institutional uh, money managers have very little incentive to sell into the month in the quarter into the half year end of the year and we usually see them uh, do a little window dressing. They want to get the uh, hot stocks in their portfolio. So the tendency is to go to the long side of the market. If that is the case today, uh, it should cap a rally in treasuries. Uh, 16 to 20 is our first resistance band. And X moved up a little higher. Uh, if you do a W split, uh, got perhaps a move out of the middle. Um, so we've got resistance starting at 16, then 17 and a half, and this K period high at 19 and a half. So I put our first sell at 17 to 21. And then uh, we have a high up here at 30. If we get through the uh, 21 area, spill came from 24, so 23, 27. Don't think we can break it out today. Tomorrow, in the notes, we roll to the September contract. Uh, today, we start out, we've already rolled to the September contract in the 30 year. On the buy side, because it is a B, and I think we got a chance to trade it lower, I've got the buy at 5 to 9, but it might be at 11. Stops just below that, so we'll put a question mark here at 11 to 12. And if the mini sells, uh, we're going to have to pay up even more than that. And then 29 to 01 for buy two. Okay, the 30-year, uh, we're in the September contract. Um, the uh, June contract closed at 63.30. You'll see, I think we're... Uh, oh, we should be usually about two points below. Uh, 62.09, 63.30, not quite two points. Okay, um... I picked up some support and resistance points. I posted those. Um, the um, 16 to, or really 20 to 24 area is uh, <coughs> where resistance begins. Maybe the London High at 14, don't know. We'll have to see how it plays. A lot of it's dependent upon what the um, E-mini does today. If the E-mini manages to sell, which I don't see, uh, then this market can trade higher. On the support side, the buck to 04. So um, 25, 29, buy 1. Buy 2, 13 to 17. Gold was up a bit over the weekend, even with the stock markets being up. And we're in August gold now. Uh, we're no longer trading the June contract. 
So 15 to 17 was support. Um, could be resistance. The overnight session's high is just above 17. So 17 to 20, sell 1. 23, 25, sell 2. On the buy side, 8 to 10. And then the buck to 0 02. Two more days of rain for us, Nancy, then it's supposed to move out. But we had actually two days this weekend where it did not rain, which surprised the weathermen who were calling for it. You know, we can't even predict. The, the, the best predictor for weather is, and I'll give you a very, very high uh, winning percentages, forecast tomorrow to be just exactly like today. And we have all these people out there lecturing and preaching, and you know, how they're going to, they can call the weather 50 years, 100 years from now. It is nonsense, but there's a lot of incentive if you are connected to the government uh, to get grant money, to get research money, to be promoted, to uh, feather your nest and cap, and to get good press if you tout the government line. And a lot of people do that now. It's academia is so politicized, science has become politicized. It's where the money is. And they do not pay you if you write um, uh, papers uh, contrary to what they want written. Okay, looking at the euro, a little bit higher. It is pointed higher, so sell one, 11.75. Then 112 even, sell two. On the buy side, pretty clean breakdown here at 47. We're at 61, so 40 to 50 by one. 25 by two. I think it's pointed higher. I think we have a shot at 1,200 today. But 75 is where resistance will start. Like short side better. Because that's what their central bank wants. Lower euro so they can export more goodies outside of the uh, European Union. Crude oil hanging in there pretty well. Um, it's um, we got our 50 bucks. Tops usually don't come in unless the tops are re unless the highs are retested. So we have a pretty good chance of getting up to 50, 50 and a quarter. Uh, first sell will be 75 to 50. If we make new highs. Uh, get blow through the 50 area then I think we take out a quarter so 70 50 to 75 would be sell two on the buy side 49 even 49 and a quarter by one 48 and a quarter 48 50 by two OPEC meets on June the second this week have a lot to talk about uh, there'll be talk about a deal as possible. Everything is cool. Um, the uh, shorts usually don't, meet because things can change on a dime, uh, nobody really goes into that meeting short, which will take some of the sell pressure off the mountains, off the market, so we have a chance to trade it higher. Based on the uh, OPEC meeting on uh, the 2nd of June. Okay, the ES is E mini is pointed higher. I expect it to trade higher, at least retest in you know, the 2100, 2103 area. Um, the um, news today personal income up four tenths. They won't pay any attention. To that. That's a pretty healthy increase. Personal spending up seven tenths. They will pay attention to that. That's a key number. 
case Schiller up seven tenths, that could come in higher. It's kind of been the default, plus five to seven. Chicago PMI at 50.7. That's, they'll read that as strength of the automobile sector. Consumer confidence, usually stock market, 97. And Dallas Fed, don't know. Last month was minus 13.9. So this number, Chicago PMI and personal spending, all can come in lower than forecast. And the market will react to that news. Okay, resistance is at uh, 375, 210375. So first sell is um, 3 to 5. Second sell is 9 to 11. Uh, like we've been talking about for the past month, given what's going on with the Fed, the rest of it, I'm expecting to make new contract highs before the... Uh, election this year and looks at the way it's had going right now it could could happen in the next couple of days 95 to 97 by one 90 to 92 by two I like the long side first to retest the overnight session high we can't get through the uh, 2104 2105 area I can go to the short side do have news that can impact the trading You're going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. I will be with you as soon as possible.